Good afternoon, Jen. It's very hot and I'm very tired, so I'm gonna take you inside in just a second. But here's a quick review of the garden. Everything's growing so well, especially that okra over there and these green beans up here. So I'm gonna tell you about the tomato variety that I will never grow again. It's these ones right here. I can't believe I'm about to say that there's a tomato variety that I don't like, but it's true. I don't care for the red currant variety. They are very small. They are smaller than a dime and it's just not a good product. They taste, honestly, they don't really taste like anything. It's disappointing. Um, but my biggest gripe with them is that they're so thick. I don't have a better way to describe that, but the flesh of each tomato is so thick that you you only get like that mouthfeel with it and there's no other defining quality or taste or texture in it. You just get that very thick bite of the, you know, the skin and the flesh um, of the very small tomato. Um, I don't care for them. They don't really go into dishes very well. You need so many of them to put them into anything that you're preserving or into anything that you're making. Now they're, they're a fine snacking tomato, um, you know, other than the textural issues. I just, I don't want to spend the space on them again. I don't want to spend the, you know, the square footage or the water or the starter tray space or the soil energy uh, on these. Again, I would much, much rather grow, you know, a Whopper Improved that I can put into salsa or on a tomato sandwich or a Roma tomato that would go into a sauce really well. Um, or these uh, are my, these are my favorite snacking tomatoes, these little cherry tomatoes. That's a lie. These are not my favorite. These beautiful ones right here are my favorite. This is an atomic grape and I will absolutely grow these again next year. Um, but these, these little sprinkles here, unfortunately are not going to find a, a home in my, in my garden again next year. Um, even Alex doesn't really like them and tomatoes are his favorite, favorite fruit slash vegetable. So he has done such a great job helping us get through as many of these as possible. Um, I'm saving the green ones for a salsa verde. They're so small that I can just run them through the food processor and bulk up the weight of our tomatoes basically. Um, Oh, at the end of the season when the other green tomatoes come out uh, of the garden and we replace them with, you know, whatever we're going to grow in the fall. We haven't quite decided yet, so uh, that video will come. For the red ones, they're so, they're so prolific. Yeah, I, I think we've picked over a thousand this year already that uh, we're having trouble getting through them because I don't particularly care for them and I don't want to eat them and um, I don't think Phil likes tomatoes as much as Alex and I do and then you know, Alex prefers different varieties too. So anyway, it's just not a variety that I want to grow. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with learning that there are preferences for what we want to grow in the garden and honoring those preferences because honestly, I don't want to grow something I don't enjoy. I'm not going to spend my time and energy growing things that don't bring me joy and put food on the table that I want to eat. So I thank them for their service and their knowledge and never gonna grow the red currants again. Do you have a favorite variety or a least favorite variety that you've grown this year? I almost feel like I'm alone in not liking these. I've seen them at the store recently and they seem to be pretty popular. I just, I don't get it. I don't understand. Anyway, I can't wait to hear about your garden next week. Bye.